Good morning, folks. We're going to go over the solar cycle progression today as the June numbers are in. We'll hit the hurricane again as the intensification continued, and we'll go over some science papers on geomagnetic forcing. But we're starting with the last 24 hours on our star. Mostly calm day. You'll see a small filament pop on the south, but there were no significant flares and no CMEs directed our way. Remember, we do have some small CMEs expected to hit in the next 36 hours, but again, they are expected to be minor. So let's go right to the data. You can see the sunspot number on top and the radio flux on the bottom. Latest dots show that we're still riding well above expectations in both metrics. This solar maximum has been slightly more active than last cycle and we're not done yet. Once again, we've likely got a year or maybe more of sunspot maximum remaining. Hopefully you caught last night's video. The evidence was clear for years, and the evidence that the solar storm last week triggered the rapid intensification of barrel is almost incontrovertible. This morning we can report that the storm has hit Category 5. Nobody forecast this storm to be more than a minor hurricane before the geomagnetic storm hit, and now it has obliterated the records for strength and intensification parameters at this stage of the season. It's currently storming through the Caribbean on its way to make another impact in the next day. Going to the papers, which fortify those solar forcing claims, where we begin with the geomagnetic impact to the lower thermosphere the ceiling of the global electric circuit. Between the vertical wind impact and the joule heating, this is one critical way the solar storms impact a critical driver of the weather, that global electric circuit. And we can cap off with a good one on how solar storms impact the total atmospheric column. We've seen that reported before, but here it is again, appropriately at this time with the solar forced hurricane. The entire atmosphere reacts down to the lower atmosphere due to that vertical translation of energy input from the geomagnetic disruption. Really couldn't ask for better papers on a day like this. We greatly appreciate your support. We'll do this all again tomorrow, right here, but right now at 6 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.